Hi everybody! If you guys watched my last vlog, then you will have witnessed the makeup failure. We tried to film a nice little cool toned makeup look for fall, playing with some new products, and it turned out not cute. Not cute. Um, so we're going to reattempt today, playing with some new things, letting you all in on the new products that are gracing this table currently. And I did put on a different top to hopefully match the occasion better because someone commented like, oh, maybe it was the vest you're wearing. I'm like, you're so right. That didn't really go with an intense, cool toned, you know, crypt granny look. So let's try this again, guys. I'm just gonna do whatever we're gonna do on the face, mainly talking about the new Makeup by Mario products, a few other new, fun, exciting things. If there are any other videos that you wanna see from me or any particular looks that you want me to do, please do let me know in the comments down below. Send me some pics on Instagram if you if you have some inspo pics. And if you wanna see more videos from me and wanna be notified when I upload, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and hit the notification bell because that's what YouTube requires of us these days. So thank you so much, it means a lot, you guys. And if you wanna see more of this floss, subscribe! So let's zoom you in and get started. <laughs> okay, so starting with the base, I'm just gonna give my face a little spritz with Fix Plus just to, you know, put some moisture in this freaking crackly dry air. I'm gonna take the MAC Strobe Cream in Gold Light, playing around with some moisture here. I am not yet ready to test the NARS Soft Matte Foundation, which I know I promised you guys. I posted on Instagram and I I do apologize, but I have not yet done this, but I've just been so dry and I'm trying to tackle that kind of, and I don't think it's the best time for me to be testing a very matte foundation, so we'll see. But I promise you that the second I do try that foundation will be the day that you know as well. That didn't make sense, you know what I mean. For my foundation, I'm using the Clinique Even Better Glow Foundation. This is one that is just deep to match the fake tan I've got going on. My face is like hella white. <laughs> And then my body's like very orange right now. So this is just kind of what matches me right now. And then I'm also using the Clinique Even Better Concealer. I've been trying this out for the last little while. I'm really loving it. I've been using it on a, on a daily rotation. I don't use the top little sponge. I'm just gonna dribble the foundation right onto my face. I'm using quite a lot of it, but that's cause I'm just gonna use my beauty sponge to blend it out for some extra moisture. And this'll just bring my face to match the tan that's on my neck and body a little bit more. Just wanna bring a little bit of a deeper shade on the face to match. And I really love this foundation. If you're like suffering from extreme dryness like I am currently, and really always, uh, this is such a great dewy option, especially if you're using it with a makeup sponge, it'll just help to lock in that moisture. That's the foundation applied. I'm gonna go in with the concealer. I've been loving this concealer. It's a beautiful natural finish, very dewy. This base is incredibly hydrating, very dewy. Really loving that concealer. And that's pretty much what we've got going. Because this is such a dewy, dewy, wet base, I definitely do want to set this in with powders. So I'm gonna take my Pat McGrath Sublime Powder and just a little fluffy brush. And I'm going to go ahead and just set some of that in where we need it, especially because I'm going in with some powder products for the rest of the face. I don't want it to be slipping around. So I'm going with a little layer of this just in the center of my face where I definitely don't want to be shiny and where the makeup tends to move around a lot. I'm putting a little bit on my lids and then I'm just gonna take like the smallest amount just on my cheek. I'm trying to try some new things. I don't normally like go in and powder my cheek, but I'm trying to figure out this bald patch that I have on my cheek where product never sticks. And I thought maybe it's just because I never powder my cheek ever. So we're playing, we're trying, we'll see. <laughs> Today's a good day to try something new, isn't it? Anyway, that's the powder. I'm gonna dip into my Benefit Hula bronzer, the one that just never goes. She is alive and well. I'm just gonna focus that right on the cheekbones here. I think that was, a mistake I did in the last video I attempted to. Whenever I'm doing cool tone makeup, for me, I feel like I look very ill if I don't put enough bronzer on. Wow, that really helped, guys. <laughs> look at that. There's no patch. 
was it just powder all along oh my god we'll see i don't want to get i don't want to get too excited too quickly anyway i feel like if i don't put enough bronzer on and warm up my complexion enough i i find myself just looking a little bit ill so i want to make sure that i am putting a good amount of bronzer on today <laughs> if i'm gonna be doing more cool tones on the skin on the eyes on the makeup whatever you know what i'm trying to say and then i'll do a little layer down the bridge of my nose I know we are gonna be playing with eyeshadow today, but I do just wanna take a little layer of my bronzer on my eye. I just find that this helps to make the look look more natural no matter what I'm doing. If I just have a little bit of bronzer connected and I do love the Jamie Genevieve method where she goes on over top after with her bronzer after she's done her eye look, she just does a little wash of bronzer after the fact. And I find that it just helps to make everything look blended. I'm just gonna do that beforehand so I don't feel so empty on the eyes and just connect it right away. It is so hot in here, guys. I do just want to point out that I am wearing a shirt. I'm wearing a shirt and Cardi combo and I just have to remove the cardigan because I am positively schwitzing. Woo! Before we continue on with the base, I'm just gonna take a little quick pause and just fill in my brows. I'm using the Kevin Aquan brow pencil. I don't know if I've ever used this. It looks very fresh. So let's test this out right now. And then I'm just gonna use my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter and just take some of this in. I'm feeling a little bit lazy for soap brows and wax brows and whatnot. I just wanna use a good old brow gel. I quite like that shade, the Kevin Aquan Brow Pencil. I feel like it's given me really nice, cool toned brows to go with our cool toned eye makeup look. Watch us just do a completely warm eyeshadow look at the end of this. <laughs> Okay, let's go back to the base, finish up the face. I've been loving the Laura Mercier Fresco Blush. It is a lovely neutral shade. It's a little bit more warm toned, keeping in with that, trying to keep the skin a little bit warmer when we're doing cool tones on the eyes. I feel like it's just a good, it's a good autumn nude for me. It feels right. It feels warm and toasty. It's a toasty neutral. How's that? <laughs> So now we've got like a base on, let's talk about the makeup by Mario products, which I was super excited to see come out. It was, I feel like that was a long time coming. I know that we're all inundated with an overwhelming amount of makeup launches all the time, but this one was definitely one I was excited for. You can tell he put a lot of thought into the application and the process of the products, uh, especially if you're a makeup artist, which I am not, <laughs> but we will play anyway. I was most excited for his matte eyeshadow palette. This is the one here. This is the Master Matte Palette. It's just this entire range of beautiful matte browns. There's a black in there. To have a complete palette, I would obviously love to have some shimmers in here, but I feel like this is a very nice matte eyeshadow. And since I have already played with this, I can tell you that it did blend out very beautifully. And I was really pleased with the amount of looks you can get in here. So I really love this palette. I did also pick up the other two eyeshadow palettes. This one is the Master Metallic. So this is all the shimmer shades in here to complement the mattes. So if you're wanting like complete makeup looks, you could just pick up these two palettes and be done for the rest of time. <laughs> including some fun pops of color. So I thought those two were really nicely put together, really nicely thought out. The packaging is very sleek and clean. It's nice, good weight to it. It's nice and light. And then there was also a third palette. This is the Master Metals. And this palette is the one that's more like makeup artist catered, I suppose. There's a little tray in here that can be removed. And I guess the whole point is that you can buy the Master Metal Mixer, this little guy here with a spatula, and you can scrape the product into the little tray, mix it and create like a cream or liner texture to use with the shadows as well, which I thought was really, really well thought out and beautiful. He said that these were inspired by earthy tones, which I thought was cute. You have silver, gold, copper, bronze, and rose gold. So you got your, your bases of metallics covered here, or metals, sorry, the other one was metallics. I will not be using this today. This will be another day adventure. If you guys wanna see some kind of cool creamy metallic liner, then maybe we'll do that at another day. But today I'm just gonna be playing with these palettes here. Another product is the Master Mattes Brightening Pencil. This is a nice like creamy shaded pencil for your waterline to brighten up the eyes. Love that, that's a great staple in a makeup collection. Then we have these, which I thought was 
kind of random. I suppose in Mario's eyes, this is just a whole different texture and different look of a product, but you have the metals, like a whole palette of them. You have a whole palette of metallics, and then these were made for the eyes. So these like really lovely lid toppers, these are the Master Crystal Reflectors, and this one is citrine, this one is quartz, and they're definitely not for the face. Like they are more chunky, but but they kind of have that wet look. It is very pretty, and the quartz one definitely pulled very blue when I put it on my eyes in the, the last look I attempted, and then citrine's a beautiful true gold. There's also another one that's bronze. I probably should have bought bronze too. I didn't, and I'm kind of regretting it now. I might have to get bronze. I feel like that'd be really pretty, but for someone like me who loves all lid toppers, I thought these were great. These two colors aren't really colors I'd necessarily go for, but if you're not wanting to buy an entire palette of metals and metallics, this is a great option for you to make just a, a very simple look, look more glam and beautiful. So they're cool, but they are still a powder. So I did get a lot of fallout on my face with them when I used it. So you have to be quite careful. It's not like set in a cream. So there is a little bit of fallout there with the little crystal bits. The final product that I picked up from the Makeup by Mario line is my favorite one. This is the Master Secret Glow in the shade Expensive. And as you can see here, it's just a clear bomb. There's no bits in here. There's no pigment. It's just a wet look glossy balm and it's incredible. I've been wearing it on my face so much. I put it into my everyday makeup vanity upstairs and I personally haven't tried a product with this texture. It's not like wet and liquidy and glossy. It's like, it's like a harder lip gloss. So I'm gonna use this one right now. I'm actually gonna just take some on my finger and put this on my face. And normally I would never use like a wet gloss. I haven't liked one in the past because I find that it gets really like wet and sticky. It messes up the makeup that's sitting underneath, but this one doesn't. It just goes on <laughs> so beautifully. It gives you the most natural looking glow. I mean, I love my highlights, but the thing that I love about this is I've worn it with a full face of makeup and I've also worn it with no makeup at all. And it just looks like your natural dew on the skin. It's so pretty. Can you guys see that? It's just the most natural looking gloss, but because it's not wet and like overly sticky, it's more, it's more goopy. I don't know how to describe the state that it is in, the not overly viscous state that it is in, <laughs> but it's really unique. It's a very unique feeling. And if you always wanted that glossy, balmy, wet look, but you were sick of like pouring wetness and glossiness onto your face, this is an incredible, product to achieve that look. That being said, I do not like it on my eyes because it is more sticky and hard. I found that because my eyes are more deep set, my lid was getting stuck to the upper part of my eye and I just didn't really like that feeling like unsticking my eyes the whole time while I was wearing it. So I'll reserve this for the face, but that is the highlighter, the, the balmy highlighter. And I thought that was a really cool, unique product that he came out with. I just realized I, I probably should have put that on last because I just put it on my eyes and now it's sticky. Why did I do that to myself? I'm just gonna maybe put some more powder on onto my eyelid just to... <laughs> oh no, have I just butchered it? I should have ended with that. That was so stupid. Ugh. Let's just take a sip of coffee and say an amen. Okay, so starting off with the mattes, I want to do this little, yeah, let's do this little shade here. And I'm gonna run that all in the crease. It's just a nice light little transition shade. I guess we already have bronzer in, so it's not really showing up. Well, <laughs> I forgot we already put bronzer on. That is amazing. Okay, we're gonna take a smaller brush and go a little bit deeper. I wanna really build this up and not go overboard like last time. So I'm gonna take that, but I'm just gonna carve out that crease a little bit more. I kinda of wanna just do a smoky, just a, a smoky V. I feel like a good smoky V out of the eye is just a good general base to follow for the eyes, you know? Like I always just kind of go along my lash line and then we take it up following the brow. But just this slightly deeper shade, we're gonna just use to carve out that little 
a little moment there. Carve out the idea into the eyes. We'll, we'll get there slowly. And we'll just do the same on the other side. The way I approach my two eyes is so different. I feel like my right eye, I'm just constantly like, Rah. I take forever to blend it out. And then the left eye, I'm just like, Rah, Rah. my approach is just so different on each of my eyes. Does anyone else feel that? Okay, so now we've got a nice little shadow in there. I'm going to take an eyeliner brush and this deep, cool toned brown here. And we're gonna trace out a big wing. I'm trying to really channel my Nikki underscore makeup energy here and do a really nice smoky wing with some cool tones. And I find that she does a really low sitting line, whatever she creates the liner. So I'm trying to imagine my lower water line and like dragging it out and connecting. And I, I feel like I do that anyway. That's a general rule I follow, but I just try to actively bring it a little bit lower. Whatever, we're, we're tracing an eyeliner line with the shadow. And I'm just gonna slowly add more pigment and drag it towards the lash line. And then I'm just gonna drag it all the way across I'm so much more comfortable doing liners with eyeshadow. It's just the truth. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna leave that there for now. I'm gonna try and do the same on the other side. Okay, so we've got our general wing shapes down. I'm gonna take a little smudgy brush and then go in with this slightly lighter brown diagonal to it. I'm just going to press that along the top edge of the line we just created. And I feel like it'll just smoke it out a little bit more. It's like slightly warmer than the shadow that created the line. Oh, that got a little messy over there. Whoop. <laughs> but that's the beauty with shadow. You can always fix it. Okay, so I've just fiddled for about five years trying to make them even. <laughs> This is what we've got here. So I'm gonna pause the liner for now. We're gonna leave it and I'm gonna dip into some, oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna dip into some shimmers, not the mattes. And I'm gonna take this little shimmer shade here. And I'm just gonna place that right onto the inner corner. Love that color. And we'll put that on the brow bone too. What I think I must accept is that Nikki underscore makeup always does a liner even on these to define the lashes. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of my Stila liner and I'm going to take a deep, deep breath and just go really, really closely to the lashes here. <laughs> the tip on my eyeliner has died. Like, look at Look at how infrequently the pigment's coming out. I don't wanna like, you know, use a little scapegoat here, but honestly, like if you have a tip and it's not reaching the tip, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I try to be so delicate with the line and then it's just like skip, skip, and then I end up screwing it up. So if anyone has any favorite liquid liners, let me know. Okay, so that just defined it a little, little bit. A little bit. I did less on this side, but that's because I, it was fine and I can't bear to ruin it by adding more pigment. So we're just gonna leave that for now. <laughs> so now I think I'm gonna take quartz with a little brush and I'm basically just gonna try to bedazzle this smoky liner. Kind of like, I don't wanna necessarily touch the outer bit there, but I think I just wanna follow it like along the edges you know just like a little a little smudge that's kind of cute like that and this because it pulls so bluey silver I feel like it gives it that coolness that we're looking for you know I was like oh let's do cool tones to be fair I use the two coolest browns that are in the palette but it does have a little bit of a warm feel but that's fine so we're adding like silver sparkle just kind of bringing it up. I'm not going past the crease. Just kind of decorating the liner a little bit, adding a little bit of 
shimmer, but not too much. I kind of like just a little subtle bits of it. Oh my God. Ah! Well, I think I'm going to leave that there. I'm still unsure of what I want to do on the lower lash line. I know I've literally been filming this video for five years, but I'm going to go ahead and add mascara. This is the NARS Climax Extreme Mascara. I've used this for about four days in a row now. It is the most volumizing mascara I have ever used. Yes, even more so than the Tom Ford Badass Black Mascara. It's huge. The wand is huge. It's thick. It's very easy to get this on my, my eyelids. So I'm going to try and be really careful with this right now. And you need the smallest amount. Like it adds so much product onto your eyes right away. It's, it's crazy. It's really hard to get off. There's a lot of pigment when you're removing it. It's like someone's taking coal and like rubbing it on your eyes. <laughs> there is so much pigment, but for that, I do love it. You guys know I love my volume. So this has been really fun to play with. Okay. I'm going to take that master matte eyeliner and I'm going to put a little layer of that in the waterline <laughs> just to take away any of the pink there. And you guys, I think I'm gonna leave the eyes there. Let's move on to the lips. I'm going to line my lips with the Victoria, Victoria, Victoria Beckham O2 Lip Definer. Okay, and then what's very exciting is the new Victoria Beckham Posh Lipsticks. How beautiful is this packaging? Oh, it's the same like tortoise shell packaging that runs throughout a lot of her products. And it's this very, very thin, sleek casing. It's so beautiful. And you've got the little VB embossed there. I didn't pick up all of the shades. I think I picked up all but two. I didn't pick up the red and I didn't pick up the darkest brown. I kind of just wanted the, the lighter neutral shades. Actually, I haven't tried this one. This one's girl. Maybe this would be nice with this. Yeah. Oh my God. I was wearing Pose the other day and it's this beautiful sheer pink. Like it's such a nice light formula. It's like not quite a lip balm. It's a lipstick, but with more of a lip balm feel. Yeah, this is a really nice color. It's so creamy. It's so nice. I have so many lipsticks that pretty much look exactly like this, but I like the variety of neutrals here. Ooh. Ooh. All right, guys. Well, the buns did not work out, but I did just spend the last uh, 12 years trying to sleek my hair. And you know what? <laughs> no matter what I do, no matter how much hairspray I put in it, the, the flyaways are just there. So it's a good thing that I am not a hairstylist by trade. So my friends, this is the finished look. I really love how it turned out. I've definitely done similar looks before, but this one I just feel like had a few Nikki underscore makeup inspired twists and it was really fun playing with some of the new products, the makeup by Mario lines, Victoria Beckham lipsticks. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the new products in the comments down below. I was really excited to get my hands on them. I know there's a lot of new launches in the world, but sometimes products are just exciting and I love what makeup by Mario did with the palettes. Love how the look turned out and I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. So if you recreate this look, definitely tag me. I'm at Alana Rama everywhere. And if you guys have any inspo, any looks that you want me to recreate or attempt to recreate, please do send them my way. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I love you all and I'll see you all very soon for a new video. Bye!